Good morning, YouTube. As you can see, we've made a little progress on this high top since we've been here last. A couple nights ago, we finally broke loose all like 40 screws and got the high top off. It weighs a ton, probably 200 pounds. I don't know. It took three of us to get it off safely, and now it's taking up an entire side of my garage. But that means the high top is now a no top sweet sunroof bus that now fits in the garage. So the next steps are getting rid of this mess of a paint job and then we'll start welding. But on today's video we're going to focus mostly on taking off some of the hardware as well as grinding down to some decent paint and metal. So keep watching and enjoy. Start today we're going to remove some of the hardware on here that way we can actually grind without penalty. And they both stripped of course. So you've got a couple of good options when they strip. You can find it torques. That's close. And you can hammer it in. And you make yourself something a little bit better. Let's see if it's easy to need that. There we go. That was a six mil Allen. We threw a TX40 Torx at it. And hopefully we'll be lucky here. Ooh, not good. Not good. Plan B, we move up a size. Plan C, we use my favorite tool. I don't know if this is called some sort of hammer or screwdriver thing. Not looking like this is gonna work. I think we're gonna have to drill this one out later. Alright, while we wait for that PV blaster to get this last guy out here, went ahead and cut the windowsill out. So we're getting our first look at how good or bad this sill is. I'm thinking right now, pretty good. Let's get a screwdriver on this. pretty solid. I'm going to throw a flap disc on it and see what it looks like. Okay. 
right, all cleaned up. I think it's looking pretty good. A little bit of fitting here and there. These bottom corners are usually where it gets it worst. Both of these look pretty good. Good morning again. I've been working on the bus for a few days, kind of off and on since we've been last. I'll give you a little tour of what we've done so far. All right, we've taken out most of the glass. Got all that hardware off that we're struggling with last video. Got the rear engine hatch out. We did discover quite a bit more rust damage down here though. So we're going to have to replace this whole panel here. 50 bucks, not too bad. All of these sills turned out pretty good. Although on this side it's a different story. Starts okay. And as we move down, we get to the holes. Just a few holes here and there on this one. Then this next panel is actually really good all the way down until where that uh, hinged window comes in. And it looks like it had been leaking maybe for some time. So we've got a pretty nasty hole here. Luckily, this is just thin stuff. It should be pretty easy to patch up. Just get a little bit of a lip welded in there. New welder comes today. Super excited for that too. Gonna go get some new gas bottles and be ready to start kind of putting this thing back together in a few places. Taking the whole day off work today so I can actually spend it out here on the bus. And so we'll do a little bit of time lapse of where I'm at. Hopefully do some sanding, hopefully get some more more bundle exposed. We got the primer and the gross spray paint off this side, which is just great. You end up with a whole layer of spray paint to take off, then a layer of sprayed primer to take off just to get down to the actual uh, Kassan red paint. And gotten a lot of it down to there. We don't have to take all these panels down to bare metal, but these ones we're going to do a lot of work on. I want to skim coat them all so they turn out really nice. I was able to do a little bit more research on this bus, and I was able to find out it is Kassan red with the, uh, I think it's called like white beige or light beige, something like that two-tone top. Uh, so that's kind of fueled our color decision a little bit towards the red side. I've got paint chips coming from eBay on the actual Kassan Red so we can see what it looked like new and see if that's the color we want to go or do we want to veer towards something a little bit more red like a Montana Red or you know one of the other 900 VW Reds. So with that I'll set up a time lapse here and uh, hopefully show some killer progress today. steps to figure out what we're going to do with these rocker panels. There are three layers of metal in there as I understand it, so I'm going to start cutting real slowly and see where we end up. Alright, I think that actually went better than I expected. I'll be able to cut this whole panel out here. The factory panel has a little bit of a lip on it, and that's where the seal for the door kind of tucks in. So I'll probably have to use a little bit of silicone, silicone to stick in the, the seal a little bit. But if I grind this off smooth all the way across, the metal underneath looks like it is an adequate shape to weld to. So get it ground down. 
Got to get the slider door off before I can actually get that last little piece out from under there. But as a proof of concept, this was really solid. Other side should be hopefully just the same, minus having to deal with the slider door and the other parts of the seams. Well, that's it for us today. I hope you enjoyed today's build. Obviously, there's lots more work to do, so you'll be seeing a lot more of us. Be sure to click like and subscribe below if you want to see more of these in the future. Thanks again for your time.